Hello everyone and welcome to May Fine Arts YouTube channel. Kuya da, what do we have and that? And today's video, we are showing how Noah make his abstract uh, expressionistic art. We all know that abstract is a very uh, fun painting activity for children. Abstract art is a modern art which does not represent images of our everyday world. It has color, lines, and shapes form. But they are not intended to represent objects or living things. So as the famous other artists like John Pollock, here Noah is doing an action art painting. Abstract Expressionism is the name given to the American post-World War II art movement. It was the first specifically American movement to achieve worldwide influence and put New York City at the center of the Western art world, a role formerly filled by Paris. One example of Abstract Expressionism is John Jackson's Pollock's dripping paint onto a canvas floor uh, laid on the floor that is a method of using spontaneity. It was novel and brought into play several factors. Action, movement, how the artists work, automatism, and the unconscious. The work was planned but details were not. It is a very nice activity for children since they just want to create something beautiful in their own eyes without really thinking about the details. So this day, we have really much fun with painting, having an abstract expressionism style. Little kids are masters of the moment. They love the way it feels when they smear paint on paper, how it looks when they sprinkle glitter, and even the soft sound of brush mix as it crosses the page. That's a really fun for children. And like older kids and adults, most toddlers and preschoolers aren't self-conscious about what they're doing or focus on creating a finished product. That can be hard for parents to accept. But, letting go and allowing kids to enjoy the process of creation can reap big rewards. Children will be better off in the long run if they're allowed just to be in the moment and express themselves. Isn't it?
ako na nagka-moritching na dyan ka. When you fly, are you happy? Yes. Ay, kami ni Opo, ma. Mama, sir. Sir, sir. Fostering creativity won't just increase your children's chances of becoming the next Picasso. You're also helping him develop mentally, socially, and emotionally. Creating art may boost your children's ability to analyze and problem solve in, in my rights ways. I can give you guys six ways to inspire creativity. First, prepare for a mess. You can set up an art space where you, your children or your kid can be free to experiment and get messy. Throw a drop cloth or a newspaper on top of your kitchen table or in the garage. And if weather permits, let kids paint outside. Second, avoid giving direction. Don't tell your kid what to make or how to make it. Instead of saying, paint a rainbow, encourage her to experiment with mixing colors using different types of brushes and papers. Third, speak specifically about art. When talking to your child about his artwork, try to be precise in your comments. For instance, instead of giving a generic compliment, Tell him, I see you use a lot of purple. Why did you choose that color? And the next step, explore your child's process. Often the best way to encourage conversation about your child's art is simply to say, tell me about what you made or ask, did you have fun making it? Number five, don't draw with your child. When parents draw something represents 
representational, while a younger child is sketching, it can frustrate him. It's better to be near him and let him know what you're inter interested and supportive of his art making. And the last, let it be. When a child finishes a piece, don't suggest additions or changes. It is important for a child to feel that what she created is enough, even if it's just a dot on a page. So, that would be a lot of fun and hope you all enjoy it. I hope you enjoy watching this video and thank you so much for your likes and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be updated because weekly we will upload more videos, art videos, travel videos, cooking videos, so we have so much more. Thank you so much. Take care everyone. God bless.